Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to create a frosted glass in Cinema 4D and V-Ray. The frosted glass is uh, uh, an advanced glass with uh, some little tricks compared to a simple glass. First of all, we want to create a basic glass shader like in the past tutorial. So create V-Ray Bridge, V-Ray Advanced Material rename it frosted glass disable diffuse layer and activate refraction and specular layer here we go for this tutorial I, I have created this uh, cube little cube here this piece that will be uh, our glass so I uh, assign to this cube my frosted glass material. I have uh, also uh, taken place my shadow ball to affect my transparencies in uh, my scene. So let's try to see what happened in my render. Select my lowest render setup and start rendering. Okay, as you can see, my glass reacts very well. Let's create a little bit of lens effect on this increasing the size of the shadow ball and create this uh, nice effect of lens here uh, this is a simple glass very simple and uh, with some little reflection here but uh, this is not the effect that I want for this glass because it's a simple glass I want to frost it so to create a frosted glass I want to use this glossiness in the refraction layer by default the brightness is set to 100% I don't like the settings because it's not too realistic so I usually start with uh, a brightness of about 97% let's bring me some realism in my scene leave the IOR now for 1.6 is good but you can start playing with this and uh, set your uh, IOR to whatever you want on, for creating desired effect in your scene and uh, after doing this I'm going to create a little bit of frostiness in my, sh in my shadow, in my glass decreasing this level of glossiness so let's maybe try with 0.9 okay as you can see my my refraction layer is more blurry that's uh, and create this frost effect on my on my glass um, note this uh, kind of um, Um, material setup is too heavy to render, it's very heavy so um, it's uh, a complex shader and it require a lot of time to render it so let's see what happens in my render Okay, as you can see, I reached my desired effect with these settings. Compared with the previous render, it gave it gave me uh, the blurriness on, on the refraction layer, and this is what I want. As you can see here, the reflection layer is still um, sharp; uh, it's not blurry and it's create a frosted glass for any kind of visualization like a frosted window or anything else blurry plastic or someone else 
um, you can play with the settings and uh, maybe we can try in this tutorial to reduce a little bit our glossiness and compare the uh, the effect from the, the various um, glossiness value decreasing by decreasing this value let's see what happens Okay, this is uh, the render with a value of glossiness of 0.8. Let's try with 0.7 and see what happens. Okay, good. Let's compare this render. So, this is the last one with a blurriness of of, of the glossiness of value of 0 0.7. It's very blurry. Let's compare with the first one. This the the previous one is um, frosted glass with a value of 0 0.8 this one it's a little bit uh, sharp compared with the previous one as you can see and this is the first one with the glossiness value of 0 0.9 it's a little bit sharp compared with the blank one this is with glossiness of 0 of 1 sorry as you can see with my render time that's increased a little bit for this uh, render but in case of an interior it takes a, loop, a lot of time more for render the scene so uh, let's play you must play with it to achieve uh, the correct result and uh, don't waste your time uh, to control the, um, the noise in the blurriness, you can increase this glossiness of division. This, uh, this increase also your render time if you increase this value. As you can see, uh, in, uh, in the render with higher value of blurriness, you can see a very heavy noise here or here. As you can see, we have a lot of noise. Uh, you can uh, adjust this value with uh, this noise, reduce this noise with increasing these values by twice or three times. So 16 or 32 glossiness subdivision, but it, it increases the render time a bit. A very bit. Um, okay, this is the basic settings for frosted glass but I will show you a last little things let's suppose I, I want to apply some graphics so, uh, to these effects maybe uh, an image a picture some or something else I can uh, apply a black and white map to my glossiness texture here to create a little bit of graphic effects on my shader or some scratches on it it's dependent on you I see you what I mean with in attach to this uh, maybe sorry I don't see my checkerboard where are you? Checkerboard. I see it. Checkerboard. Okay. Let's try. First of all, I wanted to re uh, replace this glossiness of 0 0.7 um, to 1. So um, let's clear this and make a copy of this material to.
this with texture place the glossiness of uh, one and apply a checkerboard to it the checkerboard settings maybe we can try with UV of 20 by 20 maybe 10 by 10 it's better for me and uh, with the first color uh, um, color one the white color it's um, gives me um, a glossy value of one color two or uh, black it's give me a glossy value of zero this is not correct value for this kind of effect you uh, uh, may uh, want to must stay with a value between 0 0.5 and 1 because after, uh, under 0 0.5 it's not uh, gives the correct uh, frosted effect so I want to try with the value of 80% that I means 0 0.8 in glossiness okay let's apply this frosted texture glass to my shader, to my cube, and see what happens in render. Hmm, there's a little bit of problem, so I stop it. And maybe I want to increase this value because it's not correct. Maybe we can try 50% and reduce the UV frequency to a better effects of 5 by 5. Maybe I think it's good now. Maybe we can try to render it. Okay, I still have a little bit of problem. That's because we have uh, an, an overlapping of this texture from the the surf, all surf, surface of uh, my uh, cube here. So to create the desired effect, I want to apply this material only for a face of my cube, the front face. So let's try to duplicate. I deactivate this to maintain my uh, cube make it edible like by pressing C and create a second glass maybe glass only glass ok remove all kind of glossiness blurry Select the first face here and apply my my frosted glass to it. Invert selection and apply to it my simple glass. Yes. There's some problem here. Maybe I Yes, good. It's correctly applied to my applied, sorry, to my model. So let's see what happens now. Okay, as you can see now, we have uh, uh, the blurriness of this frosted material controlled by uh, this checkerboard. Uh, you can use any anything you want any image or texture you want to, to create create your desired effect like uh, uh, an artwork a graphic artwork a text or anything else you want um, please note that uh, this will be in black and white uh, color grading 
Uh, I don't like uh, the frosted effects because it's too heavy, so I stop it for the last time my render. Open up my frost glass with texture and reduce a little bit my gray tone here by create a gray of uh, 80% and see what happens in my render. Okay, I have achieved my desired result. As you can see, I have created this with this checkerboard texture an alternation uh, between uh, simple and clear glass with a frosted one. Uh, feel free to use these settings to create your own frosted glass with your own texture, apply to it. And, um, and that's all. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, any glass shader reacts with the background and the foreground and the reflection. Here you can note that in this area here the effect is quite invisible because we have a black, uh, white background or grayish background, simple and uh, uniform. That's with uh, that uh, gives me um, the impossibility to see the the effect on my glass because the gla the glass is tra transparent. So to uh, see your effect, you wanted to have in your background some uh, variation, as you can see here, with our shadow ball in the background. We see. The variation on this shader. For uh, this tutorial is, is everything. Feel uh, please subscribe uh, to my channel to uh, for the newest video that I publish weekly. And uh, see you at the next tutorial. Bye.